top 10 open world video games of all time and for this list I'm going to have a rule where there's only going to be one game per series and please keep in mind that this list is my own personal opinion and if you guys think that something should be on the list please comment below and I always enjoy reading uh, these comments so let's begin the video Starting off at number 10 is the 2009 video game called The Saboteur, which is a video game that takes place during the Nazi occupation of Paris, France, and you play the role as a French resistance fighter who has to go around and destroy uh, Nazi targets. Now in this game, you are able to explore Paris, the surrounding countryside, and parts of Germany, and a lot of the environments, or most of the environments, are uh, destructible. And this is one game that if I would make a top 10 uh, games that need to have a sequel, this would be on that list. Number 9 is Watch Dogs 2, which came out in November of 2016, and you get to explore the San Francisco Bay Area as Marcus Holloway, a hacker who works with the hacking group called DeadSec to take down the city's advanced surveillance system. Now, the first game was based in Chicago, and this game is based in the... Uh, Bay Area where you get to explore a miniaturized version of San Francisco, Oakland, and some of the surrounding suburbs. Number 8, Far Cry 4, which is the fourth installment in the Far Cry series, a series known for its open world environments. In Far Cry 4, you play the game in a fictional Himalayan country known as Kriat, and the protagonist, whose name is AJ Gale, is a Kriati American who is caught in a civil war where you have to overthrow a tyrannical dictator known as Pagan Men. In this game, you have to basically destroy uh, the government um, bases, trading posts, etc. And the environment is very lush and large. Number 7 on the list is Saints Row, which came out in 2006, and you play as a protagonist who joins the Third Street Saints gang in the fictional city of Stillwater, Illinois, and the objective of the game is to take out the three rival gangs that control the city. In this video game, you are basically going around the city and eliminating targets to gain power for the Third Street Saints. Number 6, Red Dead Redemption. This video game came out in 2010 and is based in the year 1911 during the last years of the cowboy era. In this game you play as a protagonist known as John Marston who is a former outlaw and has his family kidnapped by the FBI and has to travel out west to eliminate former outlaws that he once ran with. This game takes place in a vast fictional uh, version of the American West and parts of Mexico and this game will have a sequel come out next year. Number 5, Assassin's Creed 3. This video game takes place from 1760 to 1783 and starts off during the French and Indian War and ends with the conclusion of the Revolutionary War. And you get to explore colonial America from Boston to New York City and parts of the frontier as a protagonist known as Connor, who was half Mohawk, half English, and his father is the Grand Master of the Templar Order in the colonies and the objective of the game is to eliminate the Templars who are just pure evil uh, people. Number 4, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In this game, you play as a protagonist known as Geralt of Rivia, who is a monster hunter known as the Witcher, who has to go out and find his long lost love as well as his, as well as his adopted daughter, and they are on the run from a group known as the Wild Hunt. This game has a vast environment of cities, towns, and I would highly recommend this video game. Number 3, The Elder Scrolls Skyrim, which takes place in the province of Skyrim, which is a vast, mountainous, wintry uh, landscape where you play as a created uh, player whose objective, or the two main objectives of the game, is to defeat the... Uh, dragon known as Alduin who was prophesied to destroy the world and then the other main goal of the game is to help one side of the civil war win 
in the province of Skyrim. On one side you have the Empire, and then on the other side you have Ulfric Stormcloak and his Stormcloak Rebels. This game was critically acclaimed and is another game I would highly recommend as, as well as all the other games on the list. Number two, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now this was a tough one because it was either going to be this or Grand Theft Auto V, but I chose to pick San Andreas. Now San Andreas takes place in the fictionalized U.S. state known as San Andreas, which is based on California and Nevada, and has the metropolitan cities of Los Santos, which is um, based on Los Angeles, San Fierro, which is based on uh, San Francisco, and Las Venturas, which is based on Las Vegas. And you play as a protagonist known as C.J. Johnson, or Carl C.J. Johnson, who comes home to Los Santos uh, from Liberty City, and your mother has been murdered, and um, you basically join a gang, or you, you uh, rejoin a gang called the Grove Street, and you have to take out your rivals, as well as deal with corrupt police. Now this game is massive, it has all these cities plus these uh, the surrounding areas in between them and uh, this game is highly recommended number one fallout 3 this game takes place hundreds of years after a nuclear war between the united states and china that leaves both countries as nuclear wastelands and you the protagonist known as the lone wanderer have to explore the capital wasteland which was once known as washington dc and you have to help a faction known as the Brotherhood of Steel restore clean drinking water to the residents of the Capital Wasteland. And you have to fight against another faction known as the Enclave, who is a part of a remnant force of the United States government. Now this concludes my list and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it. And have a nice day. Peace.